Hello, hello, my slimes. Welcome back to another mid lane commentary. Today we're playing Ari mid in Run Master MMR, it looks like, on NA. I should be able to do quite well this game, but uh, if I've learned anything about playing on NA the last few weeks, it's that uh, winning games in Master Tier there feels pretty hard. It feels like you really have to just carry the game on your own to be able to win it. Which is fair. Um, and by carrying the game on your own, I mean you have to get your teammates ahead so they don't mentally implode and want to run you down. But yeah. Um, we're playing Ari into Vigar. Not a good matchup for Ari, but certainly there are things that she can do this game. Or there are things that she can do to, to try to pressure the Vigar a little bit. We should try to play this as aggressively as possible. The only issue being that I have uh, Kindred and they have a Jarvan. Which means that if I ever get caught by a Vagar cage and there's a job in there, I'm just dead. So. Vagar should use his cage a lot in lane. Mostly just to pressure me and to make it harder for me to walk up. Because otherwise, what I'm gonna do by default is I'm just gonna push him in and try to play aggressively. Oh. Okay. We're gonna get caught already. No, he has Q. It's a really bad Q though. But it's, it works out. Hmm. I mean, the only way to play Ari is to set up your teammates to win. So I think this will suit the style that I need to play on this server quite well. Mid lane cannot really play hard carry in this meta, I don't think either. So playing more supportive is probably ideal. What am I gonna play? It's probably Ludens this game. It's either Ludens or Leandris. Leandris is not bad either, actually. I think Leandris is maybe best. Now that I'm looking at it. Because who am I going to one-shot with Ludens? Probably Jinx, right? But everyone else is going to be quite tanky. This guy is going to play Rod of Ages. This guy is going to be quite tanky. This guy will be quite tanky. And this guy will also be quite tanky. So I think it's actually a Leandris game. Which is very rare on Ari. I feel like. Okay. Start laning. We can start pushing. I want to look for trades. But it's very hard if uh, you don't have push advantage. Because Vega will just throw a Q in your face, and that's that's pretty losing for you usually. He should use his Q on these two minions though. Yeah, there we go. I can't believe I lost that trade with him. His Q is on cooldown. He should space in and then look for Q on me. That hits! I dodged that! What do you mean? Minions, hello? Can we... Huh! What? You're still aggroing me! Excuse me? What is that, man? What? Yeah, that seems fair, actually. Seems reasonable. Minions just chase me across the entire lane. Wanna look for Q on Vygar here, if possible. Mm, maybe it's bad angled. J4 can look for mid lane, so we have to be a bit aware of that. Can't just let ourselves get pushed in though, have to still look for aggressive trades like this. Oh, minions changed aggro. Can I get all these last hits? Barely. Okay, good. Okay. Ward topside. Okay. Just ward here, just so we have a place to hug. He should look for Q on this. I should look to punish. Nah, I should use W to get the minions. It's better to make sure I get the minions. Take my E here. Okay, J4 is topside. We can play very aggressive then. I think Vyga walked a bit too close here. Ah, uh, some bad... Really bad movement on my part. Like, really bad. But I think we can line up a one-shot on the Vega here if we land a flash charm on him. I think he dies. So I'll pop my potions. He wants to look to crash this. I want to make sure that he doesn't crash this. He wants to queue this. Yeah. Okay, he's no E now. I mean, what would be really cool here is if Kindred came here. That would be really lovely. I think I just do this, pull the wave down, and then just go for my reset. Vega should TP back to the lane. Look to crash this. I can't do much. Oh my god, yeah, there's not... Haha, <laughs> you ping it? No, you think I'm going there? Absolutely not. My FPS is also a bit weird. Oh, it's because I have Chrome open in the background. There we go. Yeah, Vega TP. Yeah, Vega will be in river, by the way, guys. There will be a Vega there. I can't do much. Catch the wave. One CS down to a TP. I think that's pretty good for me. Oh wow, what are you doing here, brother? What am I doing here, brother? I'm missing everything. Dodge the Q. I 
can't dodge a single Q, man. If I can just dodge the Qs, this lane would be ten times easier. But I'm just bad, so sucks. There we go. That's one Q dodge. That's rather him missing it, I would say, though. Maybe I just have to crash this. I mean, I'm losing. Aiden HP. I can look for max range Qs on him as well. It's not awful, but he has a pretty big XP advantage. Uh, it feels like Javan is here, right? I mean, there's no way you play it like this, like a human, right? Shouldn't flash there. Just go for a ward here. Pull him as far away from possible as possible. Waste his time. I just waste his time. Pull the wave. Well, Vagar's no flash now, but the wave is bad for me, I think. I don't think this is ideal. I'm gonna grab this, actually. And boots. Yeah, the wave is, wave is not good for me. I mean, I knew J4 was there. I just thought I would be able to kill the Vagar before J4 came. I could play to escape that. I think the problem is if I play to escape it... It's not really optimal. I think if I play to escape that, I will just be giving up so much pressure in the lane. I mean, J4 will get this. Like, there's nothing we can do. Kindred is topside. Guys, please don't try to contest this. It's so bad. Ah, well, sure. If my bot lane is moving, my wave is fine mid lane as well. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm kinda down. Ends up working. Oh, we're gonna get the Drake as well. I'm gonna run back to mid lane. My wave is good. The only reason I was willing to contest that is because of my wave mid lane. If my wave was bad, I would not have gone for that. Can play mid lane as well. Mm. Kindred rather. She wants to stacks on top side. That's fine. So you'd rather take stacks top side than look for kill mid lane. That's honestly fine. Well, I think you could look mid lane. Yeah, he's dead. Give the kill to Kindred. Look to push out the wave with my ult. I mean, Ari is still good at gank setup. Don't don't get that twisted. She's very good at gank setup. It's gonna push out the wave and go for my reset. We're somewhat stabilized in the lane now. Somewhat. He has no flash as well. Like, if I can trade flashes with enemy Vagar, it's usually good for me. Allows me to set up ganks more easily. Also allows him to set up ganks quite easily with his E, right? I think I should actually get a pink ward. Now, some of you might be like, Espen, you've lost your mind. Why are you getting pink wards? You usually say never get the pink wards. Pink wards bad. I think in this instance, because the lane is so gank and setup intensive, whoever can provide better circumstances for their jungler to come mid lane is probably going to be able to do very well. If I can make it ideal for Kindred to come mid lane by having a side where they don't have vision, that's probably good for me. If I can have a side where we always have vision on and make sure that Vagar doesn't have vision, obviously it's good. Oh, I can't believe I missed that Kanone. I don't think I need to run bot lane. I should be I should be fine. They have Kindred ult. They're fine. They're fine. I'll just push out mid lane. Vagar could TP bot lane. I don't think he will though. But maybe he does. I don't know where Vagar is. Wait, they have Kindred ult. Oh, she didn't have mana. Hmm, maybe it's my bad then. I mean, our top laner is just also fisting. Oh wait, never mind, my top laner is dead. Oh, you know, he was almost fisting. Oh, never mind, he is fisting. He's just turbo fisting. I like it. We can go for another plate here. I don't know where Vigar is. Jinx is mid lane? Did Vigar just leave? Did he just have enough? He got ganked once and was like, nah, I can't be bothered. Dude, my charm range feels so short. Could have sworn it was longer. I swear, it's usually not like this. Usually it's bigger. I think we just keep shoving. Keep shoving is good. Makes it easier for Kindred to take enemy camps as well. And then we hover topside here. To go grab camps with her. Yeah, we just run up here. Oh, well, there she goes. I mean, she's so strong. Maybe can look for charm on this guy. Just do a little bit of poking. I'm a bit sad that Vega went AFK, it looks like. I would have uh, preferred to actually play this game out. I think it would have been a, a fun game. We would have been able to kill Vega on repeat mid lane, I'm pretty sure. Like he would he would be going zero like 
5 this game, I'm pretty sure. Like, if Kindred or Nautilus ever come mid lane, and he's no flash, he's just dead. She can't easily auto-attack either, because then she gets hit by a charm, right? That's why she's not auto-attacking a lot, the uh, Jinx. I can't believe the tower lives. <laughs> what a disaster. I mean, yeah, sure. Really. You're ulting uh, an Ari. I quest. Just wait for my charm. Jump over, maybe? No. Not a good play. Just jump back. Almost have Leandris in base. Just need to take the tower. Just push one more wave, I think. It's good. Just auto. 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 And then Q. Don't quite have enough AP yet to be able to one-shot the backline minion wave. Mostly because I haven't reset in about five years. There we go. Nice. Can reset here. Oh, I actually really want to crash this wave though. This is, might be where I'm greeting and dying. Oh, no. I want to push this wave to make sure that enemy can't freeze. Well, Vega just switched to summoner spell, so maybe that means he's back. Maybe he decided to not AFK? I'm honestly a bit confused here. Wait, my top laner is just... He's just pumping. He's just... He's just pumping. Oh my god, Klet missed the Q. Is he dead? Oh, but dude, he's just pumping. It's just a pump situ... Huh. Biceps did. You know what? That's fair. You did do a bit of pumping there. There was some solid pumping up in the top lane. I will. I will let you. Uh, I will let you say biceps did. Without finding it extremely cringe. Mostly just because you were pumping in the one v two. If that was just a one v one, no way. That's legal. I don't really know, Vygar maybe he got, you know, he gets solo killed once and then he gets ganked once and then he just decides. Do you, do you understand what I meant though? Like when, at the start of this video, I'm like, yeah, you kind of have to play for your team to make sure that they, they don't mentally implode and just decide to int the game. Vygar has two deaths. Two deaths, that's what he has. 1v1 once and then ganked once and then he decided, yeah, no, that's enough. I'm not playing the game anymore. Just open. Wait, wait, wait. Huh? What kind of mentality is this? Okay, this is a bit psychotic, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's a Javan play? Yeah, sure. But what kind of mentality is that, right? Like, two deaths and you're out? What do you mean? You, the game was still completely winnable. Like, it was still completely winnable. I don't get it. Like, that is... I will never understand that. Where you just... You die twice. Sure, if he goes 0-5 in lane... You know... Where it's just ganked on repeat, I can understand that you wanna open. Like, you wanna AFK. But I would never do it. I, actually, it's a lie. I used to do it when I played in Korea. I would, if if my entire team lost and I was losing lane, I would just open. I'd be like, okay, well, there's no point in me continuing this. The main reason being is my intention in Korea was to try to learn as much as possible about how to lane. Oh my days. What a combo. Do you think they've ever seen banana combos like this before? Wait, I can't sh uh, my, my, my guy is dying. My Zaya is dying. Does she want to live steal? Banana combo! Oh, damn. Kinda wanted to go for the cool combo. I thought she would keep on running. That sucks. Well, we're just gonna take a reset. I wonder how good Cosmic Drive is on Ari. Feels like it would be a good item with Leandri's setup. Because you're con continuously in combat. I mean, we can just run down mid lane and end the game, right? I don't know. A little bit cringe by Vagar, but again, it goes to just prove my point of people are so mentally fragile on this server that it's like impossible to play a carry champion unless you're... Well, first of all, carry champions are not that strong mid lane right now. Obviously, if you're really good, if you're just good at the game, you can play whatever you want. It's, it's like it's fine you will hit challenger right like if you're competent enough at whatever you're doing 
of course, Faker can rock up on the server and just play whatever he wants to and get Challenger really easily, right? Problem is, I'm not Faker. I'm not as good as he is. Uh, my brain doesn't work as fast as Faker's does. My hands don't work as fast as Faker's does. If I, if I have more time to analyze stuff, I will probably come to like good conclusions. Where, uh, like, similar to what Faker could do, uh, he just does it faster than I do. Yeah, we'll just be taking my leave. Yeah, none of my business. What's going on there? Oh, worst skill shot accuracy of all time. Yeah, I will be taking my leave here as well. I don't think I kill this guy. But maybe I do. Ah! Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Zaya is mad at me because I just walked around <laughs> the clad ult. Yeah, none of my business. This has nothing to do with me. Oh my god, Vygar is back in the game. Wait, are they doing Herald? Clad? Mr. Clad? Who's pinging this then? If they're not on it. I'm fuming. Yeah, time to go top lane again. I will almost have my ult up. Unstoppable. But the set guy is just beating everyone up. I respect it. Oh. That's tough, bro. That's real tough. That's real tough. Yeah, a little bit of a dance off with the uh, with Vegar. I don't know why he decided to just in though. It's like two deaths, bro. Come on, you're better than that. I tried to predict him. I tried to knock him out of his dash, but I was too slow. I mean... I will play some more Ari games. I know... One of the people I coach really enjoys watching Ari mid lane. Um, so I will for sure be playing more Ari. If, if nothing else, just to try to help him figure out how to play more matchups. I think Ari is a champion that... I might sink another 20 games into uh, this season. I haven't played her that much. I played her a lot last season and it was the champion that took me to challenger. Uh, I also did get rank 1 Ari on NA. Which is pretty cool. I took it from Tukoy, the um, the French mid laner who played on FlyQuest back in the day, before or last split. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I can, I can take rank 1 Ari again. I will just be spamming some Ari. I think this champion is good on NA. Allows you to roam a lot, allows you to basically take care of your mental patience, which is what you need to do. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary and look forward to more Ari games. Have a good one. See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye.